What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Film study for rookies today. We're going to be going over this receiver right here. Marquez Valdez scandling and talking about why he's such a great addition for the Buffalo Bills offense, man. Let's jump into the film room because there's a couple things that really stand out on tape. Let's get into it. So as we look at this play right here, you're going to see 83 is going in motion. Now watch MVS. He's going to run a rub route. We're going to let the play develop. We're going to pause it right about here. He's running a rub route, trying to create separation for 83 running the wheel route. And then MVS is going to try and bring this DB and this safety with him. That's going to leave the wheel route one-on-one. -on -one. Now what's going to happen is the cornerback is actually going to go with 83. So now MVS has the safety one-on-one. -on -one. Now watch MVS right here. The second that safety starts to open up his hips, bang, he's getting low. He's planting, coming back around, and he's right there, man. This is what he's great at doing. Reading the safeties, reading the DBs. The second they open up their hips, bam, gets low cut. Comes back to the ball, man. Let's check out play number two. The next play we're going to look at, you got MVS on the slot. Take a look what happens. Lions drop into an inverted cover two, and MVS does a great job recognizing that. Mahomes leads them pretty close to that safety on the left side, but he does a great job tracking the ball. Take a look right here. So as we take another look at this play, this cornerback right here, he's going to drop back. He's going to play this half. 32 is going to play the flat, which means this linebacker right here is going to drop back with MVS. We're going to let the play develop. We're going to pause it right about here. MBS looks to be going about 75-80% speed. And here's what I love about MBS going about 75-80% speed. It makes the mic hesitate. Do I drop back and pick him up? But if I do that, the dig route is going to be open across the field. MBS turns on the jets right there. The mic doesn't have a choice. And nobody else is going to be able to pick him up because MBS runs a great route against the cover two. Great stuff right there, and a great catch. Take a look at the catch one more time. As you're going to see, the throw's a little bit far to the left, but he does a great job tracking it, man. Let's check out the next one. The next play we're going to look at right here, you got MVS and the bunch set. Now, I told you he's a great route runner, but he's also very smart. Yes, he does have some drops, but take a look at what he does right here. So on this play, watch the DB right here and watch MVS. We're going to let the play develop. We're going to pause it right here. From the jump, MVS is getting pressed right there. But watch what he does next. He sees that it's man-to-man -man coverage. He sees this DB right here going to pick up Watson. So what's MVS do? He runs the DB into his own guy. Now we all know MVS has some speed. So the second he does that, he creates separation. The DB can't keep up with him. He's going to fall down, man. And then look at him. He's wide open. So not only can he run routes, he's also very smart recognizes man coverage, gets a beat at the line, but does a great job making up for it, man. And he's wide open. Let's check out the next one. The next play we're going to look at, you got MVS right here doing what I think he does best, tricking the DB and I think he's going deep and then bang, he cuts it short. Let's run this back real quick so you guys can see. He's going to chop the feet about right here. Really watch this. Chop the feet, bang. As you're going to see, the DB starts to open up those hips. What does MVS do next? Gets low, cuts, comes back to the ball, makes an easy throw for Mahomes for the most part, right? But this is what I love about him. This is his bread and butter because he's got the speed. So DBs are going to fear him going deep, gets slow, chops the feet, bang, comes back to the ball. Great stuff, man. Let's keep it going. The next play we're going to look at, you got MVS lining up as the outside receiver. And this is what I was talking about when I was going over his football IQ. The DB right there does a great job potentially jumping that route. Mahomes sees that, decides to look to the right, nothing's open, scrambles to the left, and MVS does a great job creating separation once again when the play has broken down. Let's run it back. So as we run this back, you got MVS running an end route. Now watch the DB right here. He's going to try and jump it. We're going to let the play develop. We're going to pause it right here. Mahomes starts to look at MVS. But he also sees the DB about to jump it. So what's he do? He looks to the right. Let the play develop. Play breaks down. He's going to roll out. MVS sees that. What's he do? Sneaks behind the DB. And once again, man, he's going to be open. This is what I'm saying. I think his bread and butter is his football IQ and manipulating the DBs into a long route, into like a curl, a comeback route. Those are his two biggest strengths. Let's check out the next play. The next play we're going to look at, you got MVS lining up as the outside receiver right here. Runs a comeback route. Bang. Creates separation. Unfortunately, Mahomes is going to get pressured from the left. Rolls out to his right. And look who's right there. Traveling with Mahomes. 
Marquez Valdez Scantling, man. Let's take one more look at this. The first thing I want to go over is the route. How does the comeback route look? We're going to take a look right here. Bang. He's going to get low cut. And once again, look at the separation. He's going this way. DB's hips are still going this way. A plus right there. Sees Mahomes getting pressured. What's he do? He's going to roll with them right there. Take a look at this, man. And this just goes back to what I've been saying. Route running and football IQ are his two biggest strengths. Let's check out our last few plays. So this play right here is pretty interesting. Once again, you got Marquez as the outside receiver. We're going to let the play go. We're going to break it down after, but take a look right here. I'm thinking, okay, MBS ran a pretty good route. Why didn't Mahomes hit him to begin with? So we're going to let the play develop. As you're going to see, he's going to get pressure. He's going to roll out to his right. Now, right here, I'm thinking, okay, why didn't he hit MBS? What he's looking for is Sky Moore, but then he sees the safety reacting to that. So he's going to keep it. Keep rolling out to his right. Once again, you see MBS finding another soft spot in the zone, and the Mahomes is going to hit him. Not the best throw, but great stuff by MBS. The next play we're going to look at, you got MBS lining up as the outside receiver, and you've seen this time and time again. This time it wasn't a huge sell, but take a look right here. He's going to create that extra two or three yards of separation, makes it an easier throw for Mahomes. Great stuff right here on third down. So on our last play, we're going to have MBS lining up as the outside receiver. The Chiefs are going to use Travis Kelsey as a decoy. And MBS is wide open in the end zone. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. My final thoughts on MBS. One, he's a great route runner. Very smart. Obviously, he has a tendency to drop the ball. But I think against man-to-man -man coverage is somewhere where he's going to really excel. What I didn't see a lot of from last year were post route and corner routes. If the Bills can develop MBS to really excel at those routes, he's going to be a dangerous weapon for Josh Allen. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay tuned. More content coming soon.